Oh God, it's another one of these videos. Hello and welcome to another Kippy on the Camera reaction. My friendship with McJugger Nuggets is over. Obviously this is clickbait. He likes to joke around with this. But I think Jesse's gonna either be mentioned or be in the video in some way. I'm not sure what, but I guess we'll find it out. So. What's going on you guys? Kippy on the Camera here. Which of us here? Right there. And today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, and today... I am 16 weeks. She is 16 weeks, not a week. <laughs> oh, wow. It is okay. Today is Wednesday, and today I wanted to do a little bit of Twitter. You know, the and you guys always got just questions, and sometimes I just don't got the answers. Oh, wait, no, this is not still. Now I do have the answers. I don't like this intro, dude. Shut up, <laughs> <God>, Michael. <laughs> I know you're so cheesy right now. Huh? Well, stupid, I hate it. <laughs> Shut up! Sometimes I ain't got no answers until now. <laughs> I don't like the way I'm talking too. right now. I don't have Funny the man. answer, but I do. What the talking about? I know, like, just answer the question. Why am I doing this right now? Why am I sitting away? Yeah, what the hell? Look, you can do this. I know. <laughs> you just gotta believe in yourself. I, 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 I hear you. I hear you on that one, man. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost my mind, Bridget. Oh, Michael does this all the time. Like, I do. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a butt. Like, you know Blue doesn't talk, right? <laughs> he doesn't talk. Yes, he does. He's smart. He No, no, he doesn't. Oh. These guys lost his mind. <laughs> Today is Twitter Q&A because I wanted to answer your questions. But before we get to that, oh, right. we got to talk. Uh, Nice conversation. <laughs> Ew, <laughs> I, I have to say that. Mistakes. Why do I have to taste it? If you have not seen the video that I uploaded to Storyfire yet, click the link below. He did upload to Storyfire. Okay. The video that I was talking about the other well, day. Well, I have to watch Jesse's video first, but let's get to know though. Told me that he got in contact with my father that... Fuck that bitch. It's a really offensive video, you guys. It ruined my birth. Okay, so just so this video knows, this, this one's going on Ruben's channel, but if you want to see the uh, Hater Ruin My Birthday reaction video of mine, you're going to have to go on my channel for that one. Birthday, and you guys this wanted to see it, and the whole thing was captured on rank. So if you guys want to see it, click the link below. Check the it out. Here's the reaction. I came always from here to see you, my friend. I have a message for you from your father. I can see people. Okay. I'm not trying to be mean. No, my my grandfather passed away and I can see him. Okay. He said he's very proud of you. That guy really made me mad. Like, honestly, it was one of the most angry parts of my birthday. There's a part where you see my face just ball up after he said it. I was like, I'm going to punch the dude. People back in that I'm going to him. If you want to see that video, go check it out. The link is below. It is available only exclusively on Storyfire. Yeah, to be and I promise you, you don't want to no that more intro, you guys. Let's get right into it. It is time for Twitter. Yeah, too, I actually have that. Actually oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Our first question comes from Emily Morgan, and she wants to know, on your album Ashes, what is the song We're Good About and Who? Hmm. Time to spill some tea. Oh. Yes. The my super makes for bad when I do that. If you have not heard my album Ashes, there is a song on there called We Are Good. It is track number eight, and she wants to know what the song is about and who it's about. Huh. That was Dad's hunk she's doing, you guys. Every time Dad would hear something like, your total was 28.50, sir. Huh. <laughs> oh my God, my. <laughs> I wrote the song We're Good about an ex-girlfriend. I'm not going to say her name. I'm not going to put her on blast like that. We had a pretty decent relationship, and by decent, I mean horrible. <laughs> a lot of cheating and, like, mental abuse, and it was not good, and it was a bad relationship. However, the song is me thanking her for actually breaking up with me, because breaking up with me actually led to me meeting Bridget. So, We're Good is a song essentially thanking my ex-girlfriend for everything she did, which eventually led to Bridget. We're the best. Uh, okay. Ew! I need some cum. Uh, What's going God, on, my I need to go to the hospital. It really stinks. Please stop. It's not that bad. <laughs> Eric wants to know, what will be the last name of your kid? Green. 
Of course. Well, that's no offense, but what kind of stupid question? I actually want to let you know right now that we're actually giving the child your last name. It's an... Can we name it for me, dude? <laughs> I'm sure it's not naming it best. <laughs> <laughs> that ends now. That, that's probably because of that right there. Ow. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. yeah. The bloodline stops at this kid. <laughs> Destiny wants to know, what is the advice you give to anyone who is struggling with depression or feeling alone all the time? Well, number one, I don't know if I'm actually qualified to answer a question like that. Uh, but what I can say from my experience is, even when you feel alone, even when you feel like you have absolutely nobody, you actually do. You'd be surprised how many people you actually have that care about you and that love you. And when times feel darkest, don't give up because life is worth living. Life is, life is precious and it's amazing. And I'm so happy every day that I get to wake up and I see Bridget and I have all of you guys and I have my family and it's thanks to you guys that I even feel this way to begin with. You know, last year when I lost my father, I felt like I had nobody. I felt like I lost everything. I thought my world was collapsing and I had nobody or nothing. And I was wrong. I couldn't see it at the time, but I had Bridget and I had my family and I had all of you guys and I was so lucky and I'm privileged to this day to have you guys. So. If you're struggling with depression and if you feel alone, just remember, you're not alone. If you're feeling depressed and you feel like you have nobody, just remember, there's somebody. Even if you have to call a number or tell a parent or a brother or a friend or just find somebody to talk to, tweet somebody, no matter what, there is somebody out there that cares about you and wants you to exist. So. If you're struggling from depression, just remember there's somebody out there that loves you. I think you pronounced the Celian. When did you and McJuggernuggets first become friends? And at the time, did you tell each other that your series, Angry Grandpa slash Psycho series, were fake? <gasps> okay, he's trying to trap me into admitting that the videos are fake. Oh, good luck, sus. Dude, oh. no. The, my videos are real. Okay? Yeah. They are totally, completely authentic. Mm -hmm. And why are you I like being sarcastic? Real I know, and I'm agreeing. Yeah. <laughs> can can so we I just like have do that now? Uh, and, you know, my video is 100% real. 1000% real, guys. You're just and that's so not a good job. <laughs> yeah. I first started talking to McJugger Nuggets around the time that he was doing that whole Eagles landing, you know, kicked out of the house and living in the TV right, yeah. series. Which was obviously fake. Oh, that was so fake. His acting! His acting was horrible. Jesse, you're not an actor, dude, okay? No. You are not an actor. You are no pickle boy. Or... <gasps> or Bridget. Oh, 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 you just oh, got yourself no. with that one. The videos were oh, fake, oh. and he was completely <laughs> unwilling to admit it. You just fucking like, admitted that. Oh, dude. Yeah, oh, God. Wait, watch just this. admit it, bastard. First of all, okay, you're not going to be evicted from your house and have to live in a tent. Nobody would ever leave their house and live in a tent. That's just stupid. Unlike the time we did it, when dad left the house and was living in a tent, that was real, God. 100%. That one was real, and Jesse copied us even though ours was after. Around 2000. That makes no sense, Michael. Jurgen Nuggets as my competition, okay? I remember. I was the only game in town doing dad breaking stuff videos, and then all of a sudden, there's this dude. Ooh, I'm doing everything! Woo! He passed me, the son of a bitch! So I could tell him that time. So I reached out to him privately yeah. and was like, hey man, here's my you number. Know what I never need to talk now. to anybody. You I'm guys are like brothers. I've been through anything. You guys fight like okay? that. I have literally been in the back of an FBI police car, okay? Like, <laughs> I've been through the ringer, dude. I have seen and heard it all. And he still refused to admit that he was fake, so imagine how pissed off I was when it came out that it wasn't. Okay? I was pretty lit. That was the first time that me and Jesse talked to each other, and I'm really glad that we did because he's a really good friend, and he is. I love the dude. Jesse, thank you. Thank you for bringing me on to Storyfire. Thank you for the collaborations, and seriously, I don't think I've ever said this publicly. Thank you for coming to Charleston and making that Angry Grandpa versus Psycho Deck crossover happen because had you waited any longer, it would have never happened. And I'm so proud to be able to look back on that yeah. video, even though it was totally real and you destroyed the pool house. Totally.
Okay, the next Not song so comes from a yeah. Bridget West. Ooh, I hate her. Yeah, I don't like her that much either. Bridget wants to know, what's the funniest hate comment you've ever read? <laughs> well, that one happened in person. Do you remember that guy in Walmart? Yes. Do you remember this story? Uh-huh. So one day me and Bridget are walking around Walmart and we see this guy and he comes up to us and it turns out he's a massive fan. He's what? freaking out. Oh my God, I can't believe you're here. Can I get a picture, man? I'm a huge fan. So he's taking out his phone. Hey, man, can you say something to my mom? I'm like, yo, what up, mom? I'm sitting here in the store with your son. He is the man. Hey, man, thanks for subscribing. I'm doing everything. And then he starts apologizing to me. He's like, man, I'm so sorry about the comment that I left on your last video, man. It was rude. It was repugnant. I should have never said it. And I'm like, dude, don't even worry about it. Because chances are, I ain't even read it. Okay? I never see the hate comments. I'm sorry to burst your bubble trolls that were like, hey, he's going to have a heart attack at 34. Sorry, I never read it, except for that one where I read that comment. I read that, and uh, it cut me deep. <laughs> so I'm telling the guy, listen, man, don't even worry about it. I didn't even see the comment. It's not a big deal. And he's like, oh, don't worry about it, man. It's right here. And he pulls out his phone, and he pulls out YouTube, and he's like, this comment. <laughs> and I can see his picture on my video, and it's like, Pickle Boy looks like the kind of guy that has meat sweats. And I'm like, this rat <laughs> bastard. <laughs> meat sweats. What the hell are meat sweats? I had to Google it. I'm like, he's right. Oh my god. I probably got meat sweats. <laughs> and what can I say? You know, I can't be like, hey you dude i can't do that like, i gotta be a nice guy yeah like thanks for the support i'm like hey man that's a great comment dude you got me like what am i supposed to say this guy yeah that's the funniest mean comment i've ever read oh my god all right this guy wants to know what is your plan for vacation this summer oh to not be around a single member of my Family. Oh. No, I'm sorry. Last year's vacation was the most miserable time of my life. It was so sad. Did any of you miss those vlogs when we had Oh, I saw it. Year? Because if you I don't know if I was reacting yet, but I saw it. If you it. missed it, you missed, you missed complete dysfunction at a really high operating level. Like, how did we leave Orlando alive? I know. Oh my gosh. Every member of my family. New Jersey. You, Bridget, maybe Jennifer. I think that'll be a good vacation for you guys this summer. He was fighting. Cindy was accusing my nephews of stealing shit. Bridget and my sister were getting in fist fights. My mom shaved her head with a razor blade. <laughs> Me and Bridget probably broke up. I don't even remember. <laughs> Uh, Look, it just happens when you're in the house with all these people for like a week. It was just a week! Like, it's just too much. I can't be around anyone for longer than like, I don't know, a day? My family are the only people in the world who can go to the happiest place on earth <laughs> and come back with pieces of their hair missing because they got into a fist fight in the parking lot. Like, guys, this sh yeah, mm, like so Michael's mom disappeared for a few days after that vacation, too. I don't remember that. My back. swimming pool. We're going nowhere. <laughs> vacation here. This is a vacation. We're not going a damn place. <laughs> uh, Lee wants to know, what is Jersey your absolute favorite, favorite food that Grandpa made? Ooh. Uh, why did he have to remind me of this? The best thing that Grandpa made was this delicious, like, potato hash, like, Piece of deliciousness from heaven itself that I miss. Okay, I love sticky turkey wings or chicken dumplings. Chicken dumplings are Man. pretty good. I've had those before. You're making me so damn depressed now. We're never having a sticky turkey wings or chicken and dumplings again. His recipe is online though for those wings. Are they? Yeah. Lauren says, can Bridget please start uploading on her channel again? Lauren! <laughs> this is my channel. <laughs> Kid Behind a Camera is my channel. It's Michael's channel. It's our channel. Why do people think that this isn't your channel? Like, I this, don't know. Is, this channel is just as much mine as it is yours. The channel of Bridget West is definitely for, like, stuff that does not belong on this channel. A long time ago, I really wanted to start a second YouTube channel so I could give you guys more than just angry grandpa videos. And I was talking to Bridget, and she came up with a damn name. 
Bridget was like, what about kid behind a camera? Because you're always behind the camera. And I loved it. And we started the channel together. So you guys, this is not just my channel. As much as people want to say that, you know, this is Michael's house. This is Michael's channel. That's Michael's car. Guys, this sh belongs to Bridget too. She's on my bank. She's on... <laughs> this sh belongs to Bridget too. Okay? I don't know why you guys have this like sexist point of view and not her because that's a girl but a lot of guys have that sexist outlook where they're like oh bridge is trying to take everything and it belongs to michael and she does nothing and it's not true bridget edits most of the vlogs she came up with the channel name and kid behind the camera is just as much hers oh thanks babe i was zoomed in that whole time wrestlemania podcast owner <laughs> says when are you two before or after bridget when are you due? I'm, to them. I'm due November 20th. She is due November. What is wait? What does that mean? Let me see. Before or after Bridget? When are you due before or after? Bridget? It's meant to you, Michael. What does that mean? I don't know why he added that, but I'm due 11. Wait a minute. Is he talking about me? He's asking me when am I due? <laughs> oh my god! That bastard! <laughs> <laughs> right, that's you know, dude! I gotta teach you something about anatomy, okay? I am a man. I do not have the parts to get pregnant. I do not have ovaries. I do not have eggs. You got me. Oh my god! You knew what it said. Nuh-uh. Yeah, you did. You just wanted me to get extra insulted. You got what you wanted. <laughs> Not true. No, yeah, it is. I don't think I'm making it to 1120, though. I'll be honest. What does that mean? Angela wants to know, what advice would you ask your dad about how to be the best father possible to your child? Oh. You know, I don't think I would ask my dad anything. I don't have to. He'll just my dad just, taught me everything that I need to know yeah. about being a father while he was alive. He'll just literally just how to treat his son, to you. how not to treat his son, or his things, how to love. I'm just kidding, you guys. <laughs> I love that. I miss him. And I, I honestly don't think that I would have to ask him anything because he honestly did teach me everything that I need to know. He showed me how to be your child's best friend, how to be there for him, how to be there for advice when you need it, how to be a shoulder to cry on. And I don't want to get emotional. I'm tired of crying lately. Guys, my dad showed me everything that I needed to know about being a man. Despite what you guys see on the vlogs, dad showed me everything that I needed to know. He gave me the tools for life. And I'm going to be internally grateful for him. And I'm so happy that I was able to spend the time with him that I did to learn everything that I needed to know. So, Dad, I love you. Thank you for showing me everything. And I'm going to teach, I'm going to teach my kid everything you taught me. Because you were a great teacher. And you showed me how to be a man, how to treat women how to be respectful. Okay, those are lies. <laughs> <laughs> I taught you that, honey. That was Bridget, okay? I didn't learn everything from Dad, okay? But Dad taught me enough. And Dad, I miss you, and I love you, and I wish you were here. The last question, you guys, DZ wants to know, what is the best and worst fan encounter? Oh. <laughs> The best fan encounter is the easiest one to answer, okay? You remember the day we got pulled over by the cop? Yes. <laughs> oh my yeah. gosh. What a story. A couple of years ago, it was me, Dad, and Bridget. And we were driving around in the 55 Chevy, and all of a sudden, we see police lights. And Dad starts freaking out, you guys. There's like, <laughs> Mike, can I get back? Oh, fuck, Mike. I'm like, what? What's going on? I ain't got my goddamn wallet. I ain't got oh. goddamn proof of insurance. I'm like, you can what? Mike, I just got it the other day. I just, it said, God, it's on Canada House. I'm like, oh my God. What are we going to do? They're going to take you to jail for this. Okay, you can't drive without a license or proof of insurance. They're going to impound the car. Oh my God. And we're freaking out. Dad's like, shit, what am I going to do? Oh, God, dear. Mike, eat this. He hands me a cigarette. So Dad rolls down the window, and the cop comes walking up to the car, and the first thing that he says, 
I don't need your license and registration. I just really wanted to meet you, Grandpa, and see if I can get a picture. And it was totally amazing, you guys. Oh God, my God! He was the totally cop pulled cool. him over just to meet Angry Grandpa. Yeah, it was That's so funny. funny. It was a seriously, seriously cool fan encounter. And that, I'm like that cop. Asked that cop's pretty cool to do something like that. that. He's a serious <laughs> Thank God. Ability is to get the uh, attention of a YouTuber you with four million subs. Probably two okay? million at the time. Yeah. <laughs> we had the say, license of registration. You know what? Oh my God. Okay. You know and what if you wonder what the worst uh, thing should is, is, well, what a story fire. Right? Because yeah. I should yeah. literally yeah. meet up yeah. with Clay Mayo. Yeah, and you can I mean. find out firsthand what the worst fan encounter I've ever had is. Yeah. That's going to be a great day, guys. Thanks yeah, for watching. Thank lessons. you so much yeah. for helping make this such a great Q&A. Like, this was a good one. Oh, it was so funny. Oh, my God. One of my favorite Q&As that we've ever done. Thank you guys so much. I'm getting out of here. Guys, smack the like button if you want me to make another vlog tomorrow because we got another ultrasound. And if you want to see it, smack the like button. Hopefully. Uh, I don't know if they're going to look at the or not. Smack the like button if you want me to ask. Thanks for watching, you guys. <laughs> like. Subscribe. Favorite. Follow on everything but to us. I love you guys so much. Alright, so stay tuned for the next one.